Hi everyone, this is Kathy Grosskirk with Bookkeeping Clean and Simple. I am here in the Banking Center today in my Kathy Bookkeeping Test File. And I want to show you something in the Banking Center that will help you with an occasional transaction that may come through. This may not be something that you necessarily need to set up a bank rule for, but it's something that you will probably want to use on occasion when something may come through periodically and you cannot remember exactly how to categorize it. So anyway, let's go down here and as you can see, I'm in the banking center and let's say we have some transactions that come through. Maybe you receive commissions on a quarterly basis or very rarely. And then when you do receive those, you want to make sure that they're categorized correctly and you don't want to have to guess at it and you shouldn't have to. So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and click on this transaction that's dated 9-19-2022. So I'm going to go ahead and click on it and open it up. And as you can see, as you go down to the bottom here, there's a little hot link to what we call the categorization history. Now, if we click on this, what it will do is if you've categorized something within the last 12 months or so, you can sort by most used or last used, depending on which circumstance. Basically, depending on either most used or last used, you'll come up with a search. And in this case, I want to go ahead and come up with most used because generally what will happen there is if you use it for more than one occasion or you entered it in more than one category, it'll show this on this list. And as you can see, I've been pretty consistent in categorizing these as commissions. So when I click on details here, you can see the dates and the amounts and the detail or the memo description. So I can close that back up and close out this window. So I feel pretty confident that I can go ahead and categorize these as the same thing. And if they're not already in here, then you can go ahead and set up that category. I'll go ahead and add this. And then generally speaking, what will most likely happen is if you don't have bank rules turned on, it'll automatically go ahead and suggest those and as well as the payee for those. So I, since I already did those, I'm going to go ahead and mass accept these right here and go ahead and click on accept and those will go into my categorized area. So anyway, that's basically all I had to show you today. Hopefully this will help you. Y'all take care and have a wonderful day and we will see you very soon. Thank you for watching. I would love it if you would subscribe to my channel and share it with others. My goal is to publish at least one new video per week on QuickBooks desktop or online topics, the occasional motivational video, and a few surprises thrown in here and there. I would love to talk to you about how to help you optimize your knowledge and usage of QuickBooks desktop or online. My Calendly link is in the slide. Please use that to reach out to me to schedule a free 45-minute initial consult. I would love to talk to you about your QuickBooks desktop or online training needs. Again, have a wonderful day, and until next time, we'll see you soon. Take care.